Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be testing out and trying the Sephora caffeine eye masks. Also, I am a Sephora employee now, so all of these opinions on this product and everything are my own. I got a few of these eye masks. I got this one and the pomegranate one. I think I'm going to give that one to my mom, but I did want to try one out and review it with you guys. I did a review a while back of one of the Chi eye masks, which I can link above if you guys want to check out, but it's from a while back. This one has 91% ingredients from natural origin, which is great. And the caffeine, I'm hoping, will help with any like puffiness or dark circles. I don't really have too much of that right now but we'll still give it a go also if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button it helps me a ton the packaging has a little pull tab so it's super easy to open Ooh, it smells nice it smells a little bit like coffee but a little bit like petroleum jelly at the same time interesting scent then we've got the eye patches there is a little bit of extra liquid inside so they won't dry up i'm gonna go ahead and peel off the little paper dividers on here if you had somebody else in your household you could always give them these little paper divider things to put on their eye area and you could get like a double use out of it if you wanted to try that it's not going to be the same as the gel but it's still going got some of the liquid on it. I've got one on and then we're going to do the next one. I would say that these eye patches are a little bit different than other eye patches that I've used before and eye masks. The gel part that goes under your eye, I feel like this is a lot thinner and the shape of it's not as curved as some other ones. So you can really kind of just wear it either way. Sometimes you have to wear it a certain way. This one, I feel like it's versatile where you can just throw it on and it's pretty much the same shape on both sides. Because this gel material is a little bit thinner, I feel like it might not be as, as hydrated as other eye masks but I'm gonna see if I can get any extra liquid out of here these eye masks are supposed to be very effective it's supposed to smooth the delicate eye area reduce signs left by fatigue and this is for a toned eye area that feels re-energized it does say if you want extra benefits, a little tip is you can put them in the fridge before opening for a cooler application, which can definitely help with depuffing if that is what you're going for. You're supposed to leave these eye patches on for five minutes and then remove them and massage any excess product into the skin and no rinse is needed. So I like that you don't have to rinse it. All right, so I just adjusted the eye patches. But what I'm noticing is comparing this to other eye patches and eye masks, I feel like these patches are not sliding down my face like a lot of other ones. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you do try eye masks a lot, there are a lot that just fall down your face and you have to keep touching them and fixing them. Today's video shout out word is energize. If you comment energize down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. Now, if you are doing an eye mask, any type of face mask, whatever, it does help if you lay down to do it and relax. That can be hard for me. So so I usually do them sitting up. If you do do it laying down, you're probably gonna have a better result with them not sliding down your face. But these ones I'm noticing are not sliding down my face like crazy. They are pretty much staying in place. This one has gone down just a tiny bit, but not like other ones. So that is definitely a perk of these. I don't know if it's just cause it's thinner material or maybe there's a tiny bit less serum on it. So it's not oversaturated and just running down your face. I will check back with you guys in five minutes okay guys so i got a little bit distracted and was doing stuff and i lost track of time so i actually left these on for about 30 minutes so it's okay we got extra moisture into my eyes but as you guys can see they're a little bit wrinkly now this one kind of fell down a little bit but we're gonna remove these and they feel pretty dried up and it's not like your typical gel that's like super thick it's very thin and a little bit sticky that's what they look like if you leave them on for too long. In my opinion, it does say take it off after five minutes. And even with like hair masks and stuff, I will leave it on longer because you might as well let the serum absorb into your skin. I mean, that's why you're using them for the extra benefits. So there's not too much extra on my skin left. I do feel like it looks a little bit more energized, a little bit brighter. It's hard to tell because I don't have anything like too crazy with a bag 
bags, dark circles, lines around my eye area, but I feel like they do look a little bit plumper. So thank you guys for watching my caffeine eye mask review and demo from Sephora. And these are the smoothing and energizing ones. My eye area feels nice and hydrated and it was a nice experience. I like that they didn't keep sliding down my face like other eye masks. They were pretty easy to put on and take off. Just remember when you're putting them on, the little plastic pieces are not the actual eye mask. That's just to protect the little gel mask inside from ripping and keeping it nice and moist. Have any of you guys tried any of these eye masks? Let me know down below what your thoughts are and thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys, bye.